Cardboard crafts are fun and all, but there is a large, huge, tremendous problem with it. I can't make waifus! Uh, no, I meant army men. Ah, yes, toy soldiers. You see, I chose the art of cardboard as my channel subject because I can make just about anything with it. Buildings, tanks, ships, and much more. And that's why I chose to be good at it. I was like a god, being able to create anything. Anything except organic-like things. Look, I've tried to make round things from cardboard, like that rice cooker, or my gun, or dead. <laughs> And although I think it's possible, that doesn't mean it's efficient or easy. After all, my rice cooker took about a month to make. So if I truly want to be able to make anything, I have to find a new, better way. That way is 3D printing. 3D printing is the complete opposite of cardboard crafts in this situation. 3D printing is inefficient with large flat objects like tanks and buildings, but exceeds in small organic round objects. Of course, this means I need models to print, which is where digital sculpting comes in, allowing me to sculpt whatever I want and turn it into reality. That is the plan, the goal to create anything I want, which means I'm starting a new type of video based on it. This sculpting and 3D modeling series won't be a tutorial series yet, since I'm just a beginner, but I will be posting videos on it to document my models, skills, and progress. Similar to my cardboard tank videos where you can see clear improvement, I'll be making these videos to motivate myself to improve. Videos will be a voiceover along the process of making and printing the models. And in the description of each video, the 3D model made will be posted for free for download. Why? Maybe it's because I'm just a nice guy. <laughs> for sculpting, I'll be using a free program called Blender, which is very popular and easy to find tutorial videos on. Printing will be done with my Ender 3 3D printer I got a year ago. For now, I will try sculpting army men since it relates to my current content. And actually, I have already started. Here are some models for show. On the right are ones I have sculpted, while on the left holds models that I got online. This guy specifically is the first thing I have ever sculpted with Blender. Compared to my old models which aren't sculpted, you can see a clear difference. Of course, these models have some problems. But as always, I will try to improve, and hopefully, while entertaining and teaching others. With that, welcome to my sculpting and 3D printing series. 